Hello, good morning. We're uh, currently two weeks out from Nationals. We had a uh, just stand up swim this morning, suited, um, full activation, all that kind of thing. Pro full race warm up activation, suit up the race. I was okay. I was uh, 53 2, so not not too bad for, I suppose it was about half seven that I actually did the race. So not, not too bad. Can tell there's still two weeks of uh, fatigue to get rid of though. That's fine, we'll uh, get rid of that, I'm sure, pretty quickly. We've got another stand-up on Friday night. It'll be a short course, so hopefully I'll be there breaking 50 on a 100 fly short course. That'll be nice. But anyway, today we're going back to nutrition. After the last videos on protein, today we're talking about fat and diet dietary fat. So again, I apologise for my uh, crap writing, but... Hopefully it's uh, it's clear enough. Let's see if I can get the so the light's not too reflective in it. Anyway, so so fat, and we're talking about uh, so the the primary reason we need to eat fat is for the essential fatty acids, which is just fats that your body can't produce. So it's stuff that you have to get from diet. In the same way, like uh, I don't think I mentioned it in the protein video, but we've got like essential amino acids. So they are the nine amino acids you cut, your body can't produce that you have to get from food. Similar with, with fat, we've got these fatty acids that we that we have to get from food. Uh, and fats are important because they contribute to our hormone regulation, so to keep your, your hormones in balance, keep you function properly. And then it also helps with some absorption of some vitamins, so like vitamin A, D and E are all fat soluble. So they're absorbed as your body absorbs fat. And vitamin D particularly is, uh, is a very um, important vitamin a very important aspect of, of performance sport or, or and, and just living in general to be fair that that people neglect especially in countries like britain where like today it's me and no sun just raining classic um vitamin d deficiency uh, likely to occur there yeah so so the fats help with that absorption and help with the hormone regulation so fat fats are one of them where Fats and carbs, you, you can sort of do what you like. So as long as there's you sort of meet in the minimum, so the minimum amount of fat per kilo of body weight would guess around 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 to keep this hormone regulation sort of in, in check. So if you're if you're weigh yourself in pounds, it's about 0.3 to 0.4 grams per pound. Um this is probably almost like a, a minimum. Um, you can go higher, so there's, there's actually I've been been studies that to to say that if your protein's constant, your total calories are constant, then it doesn't matter your composition of uh, uh, carbs and fats. Your you can still get that that same weight loss um, benefit. So I would I would prefer from a from a sporting point of view, and from us as, as swimmers trying to maximise our athletic performance, is to have our fats. Like this kind of slightly lower level and then push our carbs higher but the carbs will be the video in two weeks time maybe two weeks yeah two weeks It'll come out in two weeks so uh yeah so about 0.6 to 0.9 grams is enough for for that so in terms of uh sources ideally we want we want to get most of it from our like red meat um salmon that kind of thing uh eggs dairy don't know if you can see that there, but yeah, great, great sources of, of dietary fat. Uh, otherwise, uh, stuff like nuts, um, nut butters, it's like your peanut butter, almond butter, as long as they're um, good quality. So if you look at the ingredients, it wants to say 100% peanuts or 100% almonds. You don't want like 90% peanuts and then some palm oil because palm oil is uh, horrendous. It's bad for you. And I think, is it whales that get killed for it? Something like that. But anyway, yeah, some is, is bad environmentally anyway. Uh, eggs, great source of dietary fat. So, so the reason we like these as dietary uh, fats is because the rest of the micronutrient profile is pretty pretty good. So as we spoke in the in the video about protein, the red meat in your dairy contains so many other uh, vitamins and micronutrients that that it's it's like a, an added bonus. 
Um, some people like avocados. If avocados, are, you can stomach them fine. Go for it. Um, the only things you really want to avoid is like the seed oils. It's like your sunflower oil. Um, probably rapeseed oil is not great. I think the Americans call that canola oil. Something like that. But if you can avoid that, do so. Just because there's there's some stuff linking them as to be to be carcinogenic, um, which obviously we we don't want. Uh, and they're also high in omega-6, which is, uh, has been shown or is argued to be pretty pro-inflammatory. So you're going to get a lot of in inflammation from a high omega-6. That brings us on to the next point, let's talk about omega-3. So uh, the omega-3 yeah, is another one of these essential fatty acids. Your body can't produce it, so we have to get it from, from diet. And omega-3 has been shown to be anti-inflammatory. So it's good at reducing that, that swelling. Um, and that's the kind of thing that we want when we're in tape we want to increase this omega-3 because it's going to help our, our general recovery um, most people don't really get enough omega-3 omega-3 is dead good in uh, or dead abundant in salmon so if you eat two to three portions of salmon a week you're probably going to get your uh, omega-3 intake otherwise you can supplement it but you have to be a little bit careful to make sure uh, your omega-3 supplement does have just two two components, EPA and uh, DHA, which I'm not really I don't know what they stand for, but they're they're the two things that are, that are good in that omega-3 um, uh, supplement. It needs to have them in. Um, just talking about the different types of fats, we've got uh, saturated and unsaturated fats. So saturated is what we could, might consider our bad fat. Um, that's the the fat that's that's going to increase our bad cholesterol, and then our unsaturated fats are what's going to help our good cholesterol, our uh, HDL. But I don't think we really need to worry too much about that. Just avoid pro processed foods. Pretty much the the fewer processes your food has, probably the the um, the better quality is in general, and then the the fats can be the more more bioavailable for you to use. And then the last thing then, last point, is that fat in the diet slows digestion. So fat, um, yeah, it takes more energy for your, or not more energy, but it takes longer to digest than um, your carbohydrates and protein. So for that reason, I always like to have fats um, more away from training. So when we're pre-training, Obviously, we don't want to be sitting with a belly full of food because we'll feel uncomfortable, we'll feel sick. We, won't, we probably won't swim that well. Um, immediately after training, we want to get the carbohydrate and protein uptake really fast, so we don't want fats there. But like before bed, when you're going to be sleeping for six, seven, eight, ten hours, however long you're going to be sleeping for, you're not going to be eating in that time, so it's fine for your body to be processing that food that little bit slower. Um, so, so when I uh, do my diet and when I write diets, I'll tend to put um, higher fat in the first and last meal of the day, and then the meals in between can be can be smaller. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it for fat. So, fat, just as a recap, hormone regulation and helps with our, some vitamin absorption. It's sort of a minimum 0.6 to 0.9 grams per kilo of body weight per per day. And then getting most of that from red meat, dairy, eggs, potentially uh, all those those other sources as well. If you can uh, stomach it, uh, we spoke a bit a little bit about omega three, and then about the slowing digestion. So I hope that's been useful. Um, yeah, I mean there'll be uh, probably another swimming video next week, and then we'll talk about carbohydrates the week after. Again, similar with the protein video, if you've got any questions, um, write them down below and I'll get back to you. If you want to ask a longer question, you can email me, uh, info at jamieingram.co.uk. I think that's the email address. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.